what to do. I can't understand anything. I don't want to go to school. This is a very common problem, right? Yeah, students are really getting bored in school. I don't know why. So today, I am Mr. Bloom. And I am Mr. Edinson, his student. So I'm going to teach you something. Sure, These sir. learning outcomes should be there. There should be some outcomes so that I can enjoy in school. The students can enjoy. Otherwise, they are not going to understand anything. Exactly. And they will no more be coming to school. So there are a few pointers that we have to maintain when we are making outcomes. Okay. The, there are three H's. Okay. Three H's. are that? Okay, so something that is out of the head, top of my head that I'm going to bring. These three H's are the three domains that we need to have in our learning outcomes. So it means all the three need to be hand in hand? Yes. Wow. So the first one, which is called as cognitive domain, it's also called as the head of learning outcome. I am the cognitive domain. I help my students remember concepts, understand facts, apply their knowledge, analyze their ideas, evaluate and defend judgments, and they create new ideas. I help them think. Yes, that me. Yeah, so there's so many things that have been told. It's all being done by your head. That's why head is a very important domain, a cognitive domain that is required for learning outcome. The second thing, can you guess? Uh, maybe heart, because it's yes. very important. Correct. The second edge is the heart. I involve the feelings, emotions, and attitudes. And basically, I help with the internal and external phenomena which deals with emotionally. See, the topics that we are teaching in the class, it should affect them internally also and help them to apply them externally also. That is the work of the heart or the affective domain of learning outcome. Exactly, because we all know, we all are pure from heart. And if something touches to our heart, we never forget. We always implement it on time in the right way. So heart is a very important thing. Now when you have spoken about implementation, it's not just the head, the heart that is involved in the learning process. It's the hands. Sister, so, 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 I, oh, I wanted to guess. Yeah, it is to hands, our body. Yeah, so the hands are... I am a psychomotor domain. I help in the activities which are being done by the hands. Hands like writing, drawing, mapping, and of course, sports and games. I win the medals for the like, which are the activities we can do by the hands. So, the third part is the psychomotor domain. The hands are very important. The activities have to be done. Whatever you have learned, the knowledge that you have gained, you have to put it into your heart and it should affect you. And that in turn has to be presented in your actions also. So there are some of the So there are a few important terminologies that I have coined that is uh, to be followed in a learning process. The first one is knowledge. The second is comprehension. The knowledge that has been given, it has to be comprehended. And then it should be applied application. Application is important. And then you have to analyze how it has been applied. That analysis should be done. And then there is synthesis that is joining that ideas that has been coming and into action and then you evaluate that is evaluation the last step wow but here i want to make a note we are in the 21st century and our students are a little bit more smarter than earlier so today a little bit of changing in the six categories from noun to verb form and a slightly rearranging of them. That will be remembering and 
understanding applying and analyzing evaluation and at last creating when all these domains will be in one and hand the student is really going to enjoy what is your perception now i think now i can learn better my brains will work my heart i can speak and then with my hands i can do all the actions and win the medals oh wow wonderful great